Jesus. Over to the mouth. Namaste. 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 What's going on guys and welcome back to another video. So for today's vlog, I've got you something somewhat different to bring you a yoga mobility routine. Some of you may be wondering, why do I need to do yoga? Well, here over on this channel, we've got you covered on all those important questions. So basically, I start off every single morning with this routine as it loosens me up after a long night's sleep and sets me up for the day ahead. I believe it is such a great mobility routine as it gets you moving, strengthening and stretching all those muscles and joints. Now, it may not seem the most taxing of routines, but stick with it because the main thing is to get you mobile, get the blood flowing and loosen you off for that day ahead. This routine is something that I've done every single day for the last 20 months and I stand by the progress you can make for it. So without further ado, let's just jump straight into it. Hi guys and welcome to today's full body mobility routine. If you'd just like to position yourself on the centre of your mat in a kneeling position, we will get started whenever you are ready. So what we're going to do first is get your right hand and place on your right hand side and then bring your left hand up and bring it over your head and we're just going to do some small bends. So just 10 times on your left hand side and then place your left hand down and bring your right hand over. I'm just going to do 10 more on the right hand side, stretching out those lats as much as possible. Then once you've done that, I'm going to go a little bit deeper if you can. If not, it's fine, just keep it the original position. I'm going to do 10 more, pressing deeper every time. Then place your left hand back on the ground and we're going to go over to the left hand side. So 10 more on this side. And then once you've finished that, I'm going to go back into the centre. Just going to gently grab the top of your head and pull your head down towards your left hand shoulder. Just going to hold it there for about 10 seconds. And then release and then right hand pull the neck down to the right hand shoulder. Again 10 seconds on here just to stretch out the neck after laying down for so long. Then from there I'm going to get into a squat position. Just nice and easy holding it there for 15 seconds to loosen up the hips. And then from there we're going to bring the right knee in and then back and then left knee in and then back and again alternating the sides, left knee again, just gently touch it. Now we're going to go down and hold it there for about 10 seconds. You should be feeling that stretch right along your hip. And then from there bring it back up and we're going to place the left hand knee down, again feel that stretch right along your hip, I'm going to come back up, now we're going to go fully into the stretch, stretching out both your right and left hips, again keep them there for about 10 seconds, then from there back up and then we're going to switch sides down to the right hand side. Again, stretching out both of the hips. And then from there, when I come back up into a squat position, you should just be able to go a little bit deeper, but if not, it's absolutely fine. I'm going to hold it there for a further 15 seconds. Just little pulses, try and get in deeper every single time. Then from there, I'm going to stand up down to a press up position and then just rock forward gently over and back over your wrists just 10 times just to loosen up the wrists then from there we're going to go side to side again to loosen up the, the wrists so we go left to right about 10 sets in total of that now from there we're going to lift up the left hand arm and the right leg, I'm 
it's going to engage the core, so just hold it there for about 10 seconds, try and keep as still as possible. Then from there, I'm going to switch, raise your left leg and your right arm. Again, engaging the core, try and keep your back as flat as possible. Again, just only 10 more seconds on this. Then we go back into the center. We're going down to the bottom, just keeping your top body out of it, holding it for three seconds. Then come up into Chaturanga. Hold there for five seconds to stretch out the back. And then from there, I'm going to come into the downward dog position, stretching out the calves and hamstrings. Try and feel your heels digging right into the ground. And then from there, I'm just going to alternate left and right, just digging that heel into the ground as much as possible. I'm going to go and do 10 of these in total. Try and push as far as you can into the centre of the ground. Then from there, I'm going to hold it for a full of 10 seconds. Try and feel that stretch all up your calves and hamstrings as you do so. And then from there, I'm going to bring our right leg and place it over the left hand side of your body. I'm going to feel that stretch all up your right hand side and on your leg. So you feel it in the hip flexor and the hips, but also on your lower back and your lats as you do so. I'm going to hold it there for 15 seconds in total again. And from there, I'm going to bring your knee into the centre and up and push forward on the knee. Just little pulses again, only for 5 seconds just to feel that stretch. And from there, back up into press up position, down into Chaturanga. Hold it there for another 5 seconds, feeling that stretch all in your lower back. Remember to breathe as that is the most important thing during this. And again, back up into the downward facing dog. Again, pushing the heels down and holding that position for another 10 seconds. This time we're going to bring the left hand leg up and over up to the right hand side of your body. Again, try and feel the stretch in your hip hip flexor, lower back and up of your lat. Again, hold it there for 15 seconds. Remember to breathe again. So again, we're going to bring the knee through the body and then push on that left hand knee. Just little pulses, only for five seconds. And from there, down into press up position to Chaturanga. Again, hold in there for 5 seconds to stretch out that lower back. And from there, back up into downward facing dog for the final time. Just hold it there for 10 seconds to feel that stretch all up the calves and the hamstrings. And from there, we're going to bring the left leg in, slightly on the left hand side of your foot. We're just going to do 10 pulses on the right hand side. So just nice and slow, take your time. Then from there, lay your right leg flat, bring your left arm round, and then grab the sole of your foot. I'm just going to do 10 pulses in, feeling that stretch all up your leg as you do so. onto your right hand leg, straighten your left leg and try and get your chest as far down onto your knee as possible. Just every time remember to breathe and then just little pulses, get down as far as you can. Then from there we're going to go up, straighten the left leg and straighten the right leg and we're going to hold that position for 10 seconds. Again trying to get the chest down as close to the knee as possible. From there, I'm going to switch, I'm going to go onto the right hand side. So just put all your weight onto your right hand side and then just little pulses with the left leg. 10 in total again. Let's try and get deeper into the stretch as much as possible. And from there, right hand round, grab your left leg and again 10 pulses. Try and feel the stretch right up your leg as you do so. 
So again, 10 in total, then relax the leg, put your weight back onto the left, straighten the right, and again, just holding it for 10 seconds here. Try and get your chest down as far as possible. And then from there, stand up, straighten both legs, and then try and get your chest down towards your right hand knee as far as possible. So from there, you just want to swivel your legs around so they're both into the centre of the mat. And then grab both your toes as they feel the stretch even more on your hamstrings and then just Again, 15 pulses, just trying to get deeper into the stretch as much as possible. And then from there, go down to your left hand side. Again, 10 pulses, each time trying to get deeper and deeper into the stretch. And again, switch to the right hand side. 10 more pulses, trying to get your chest as close to your knee as much as possible. And once you've done 10, come back into the centre and 10 more pulses to the centre. And again from there, we're going to go to a side lunge on the left hand side, trying to keep the, the left hand foot onto the ground as much as possible, and then just hold it there for 10 seconds, and then just some rotation of the ankle one way to get the blood flowing, and then change rotation, six more the other side. Again, just to get the blood flowing in the ankles and getting them mobile. And then from there, again, hold that lunge position for 10 more seconds, trying to stay as deep into the position as much as you can. And then from there, I'm going to switch to the right hand side. If you are feeling uncomfortable, you can leave your hands off the ground and bring them up and then get a little bit deeper into the stretch. And from there, I'm going to do six more rotations on your ankle, rotating that one side. Again, just trying to get the blood flowing, and then change six more rotations the other side. Then from there, I'm going to come back into the lunge position, pushing as much as we can to try and get as deep into the stretch as possible. And just holding it there for 10 more seconds. And from there, I'm going to take a seat onto the mat, legs stretched out in front of you, reach up, and then try and get as close as you can, do 20 pulses, trying to get your chest as close to your knees as much as possible, pushing down every time. And remember to breathe throughout the exercise. And from there, I'm going to reach up, to grab our toes and then we're going to hold it there for about 10 seconds trying to get as close to our knees as possible remember to breathe as we do so and from there we're going to come up and we're going to point our toes this time try and feel that stretch all up your calves and then stretching out your heels as much as possible just holding it here for 10 seconds and from here, bring your left leg in, put your right hand over your knee, and then stretch out that right hand side, and also stretch out the left hand hip and your leg as you do so. Holding it here for 10 seconds. And from there, straighten the left, bring in the right, again, bring in the left hand over, place it over the knee, and turn to your right hand side, holding it here for 10 more seconds. From there, straighten both legs out and bring both your knees in and try and press your knees into the ground as much as possible. Remember to breathe here as we do so. Just little pulses now, 10 pulses, try and get deeper into the stretch as you do so. So I'm here, going to lie flat on our back, bring our knees into our chest wrap our arms around them and then just uh, 10 backwards and forwards rolls just to loosen out that lower back and give it a massage. So 
once we've done 10 here, I'm going to release the left leg and bring the right knee over to the side, stretching out that hip as we do so. I'm going to hold it there for 10 seconds, remembering to breathe throughout. And from there, release the right leg and bring in the left leg and bring it over to the right hand side. So again, little pulses, try and get as deep into the stretch as possible. And from there, bring your right leg in again. Again, turn forwards and backwards, rolls to massage the lower back. Remember team, stay safe and I'll catch you in the next one.